Well, eventually the police show up, and I'm not going to ruin the ending, at least not at the moment. Um, it, it doesn't fare out for really anyone at the end of it. Um, but it's really good. Oh my god. Like, I thought this was just going to be like a weird exploitation, eating poop movie. And it's not. It's very suspenseful. Um, I mean, there's very few movies where I get to a point in the film where I'm like, oh my god, what's going to happen? Bitch, don't go in that room. He's going to get you. You know, that kind of like point. I don't get like that with films. This film, on the other hand, I did because it was really well made. Tom Six did an excellent job with this film. Um, like, I, I just don't know. It was just all around excellent. Like, I mean, I don't know if I would exactly own this film when it comes out on DVD, but I would definitely probably watch it again. You know, I'm less grossed out by the idea of the shit eating after a while, but to average Joe Blow, like somebody that's gonna go see like the last song with like what the hell's her name? Fucking what's her name? I don't know. The, like the last song, or you're gonna go see some wholesome stuff. If that's all you watch, that kind of stuff. This movie's not for you. No way is a movie for you. It is bad at that point. But if you're like a horror movie fan, a fan of exploitation, if you could sit through Sallow and Faces of Death and uh, Necromantic, um, you would definitely enjoy this but, film. Yeah, th um, with, with all this, I, as I said, I don't recommend it for like anybody that is is mainstream at all like if you're a fan of like any mainstream films that and that's all you go to and you don't watch B films or anything like on independent film channel or Sundance if you don't like the sight of blood or gore or disturbing ideas or images I definitely don't remember recommend this movie um, yeah, it's like, but you know it's definitely not as bad as I thought it would be. It's definitely not as terrible as I thought it was in my original thoughts about the human centipede. I thought some, as you watch in the other video, I thought some pretty disturbing things, especially if I was in the middle part of the human centipede, and that still freaks me out. But, you know, I'm totally fine with it now, and it definitely was a well-put-together film. Um, at the end of the day, it was it was good. I mean, it wasn't like you know, stupendous, it's never gonna, like, get, like, anything greatly, great award, but it's definitely good. It's definitely worth a watch. It's definitely worth your video on demand, you know, a couple dollars. Um, and, you know, if you see it in the, in the theater near you, which the only one that was closest near me was in New York City, or in New York City, you know, check it out if you want. Um, I don't know. I had to actually go, go to New Jersey to see this thing because, uh, video on demand at least around in the uh, northeast Pennsylvania area doesn't want to carry not any of their to you know carriers like direct TV or dish network or whatever they don't want to carry it because they're jerks so I had to go to New Jersey to see this one um, but I recommend it as I said if you're a fan of weird ass fucking films it is very disturbing to many some like it reminds me of some of these disturbing scenes in Seven, like definitely the beginning of Seven. It reminds me, like, has I have that feeling throughout the entire film of the beginning of Seven. Um, but definitely, I mean, I could I, I could watch Salo more than I could probably watch this film, and that has like an, a whole lot of shit eating in it. There's a whole like at least 30 minutes of tons of poop eating or attempts at poop eating. So yeah, um, yeah, I got nothing else to say about it. See it if you want, uh, you know, and if you're not a fan of these films, don't see it. Don't see it at all, because you will be very sad and disturbed, and I don't really want to hear you complaining about it when I've warned you thoroughly. Um, well, that's about it, guys. Uh, check out my original thoughts to see my to see me very disturbed at this, uh, this film, at least from the trailer. So, yeah, Mr. Rich, um, catch you later. Right, one more thing, guys. I just wanted to uh, say um, that there's going to be a sequel to this film, which I'm kind of like, huh, about, because, um, spoiler, um, the way the film ends, I, I, 
I don't see it continuing unless somebody else kind of like goes like the saw route and continues the guy's work because the guy kills himself at the end of the film. Um, so I don't know what else to really how they're going with that unless it's a prequel of some sort. But I don't think it would be a prequel because of the fact that he was experimenting on dogs before he was experimenting on humans. So, I, I, I really don't know how they're going to continue with that, especially with a 12-person centipede. So, I don't know. But, I want your opinion on how, if you've seen this movie, how do you think it's going to continue? I mean, other than, like, maybe going on, like, somebody finds his, like, work and continues on with it? Uh, I mean, maybe there's one more person that likes to make Siamese twins? I, I don't know. Um... But I'd like to get your opinion on it, if you don't mind. Um, sorry, this is kind of weird. I took down all my tripod stuff, but I thought about this at the last second. Um, but yeah. Thanks, guys. And check out my other video, as I said, for my original thoughts on Human Centipede. Alright, stay classy, YouTube.